Hello, and welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. <laughs> My name's Seamus. If you haven't noticed, I've been sharing in the Midwest, not out west, but the Midwest. So states like Minnesota, or I mean Minnesota, and uh, Iowa, um, Kansas. I even went down to Kansas and Nebraska. Haven't done a job in Wisconsin. Gina, do we do work in Wisconsin? I mean, okay. Anyways, they do their wool a little bit differently out here. Instead of making giant square barrel, giant square um, bales, they use wool sacks, and they have a machine that press. They make wool sacks, and um, and once a uh, what is Alex? He's a wool person, a wool buyer. A wool buyer, collector. So pretty much he goes out and does the job. He keeps the wool, unlike out west where you just leave it out there. And uh, once he gets a warehouse full of wool, like so, a giant truck comes by to pick it all up. Right here. So much wool. Hey, Gina. What's... What's the company that buys all this wool? Grown wool. Grown wool. And where where are they out of? Illinois. Illinois, yeah. Somewhere around Chicago. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ralph McWilliams Sharing Supplies. And uh, this is Ralph McWilliams himself. Uh, he is one of the main distributors of sheep shearing gear and equipment, hand pieces, anything related to sheep shearing in the US. And as you can see, he has a nice selection of combs and cutters, hand pieces, machines, anything sheep, sheep shearing related he has for uh, the seasoned shears or just people who want to shear one or two head. You know, uh, don't be afraid to give him a call and uh, he'll, uh, he'll be more than happy to answer your questions and have, a good, and have a good talk with you about anything sheep shearing related. And so what I've been told is why they want it like this is so that they can sort through the wool themselves. You know, the fine wool, coarse wool, colored wool. Unlike in the West, where they do the sorting on the spot. And then they press it out there. And then it's sold as is. Where this is unpacked, sorted through a conveyor belt system. or I don't know how they do it. And then, and then they sell it that way. So now we just have to uh, load up the wool. Are you going to push those down? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to wait for them to get those ones. So this is the funnest part of the whole truck. Oh, yeah. It's being in the shed. Second truck getting along there. All right, took a good chunk out, but there's still some left. There's still some left. I mean, oh man. <laughs> that was a lot of wool we loaded there. It's nighttime now, so if you can see it, here it is.
so much wool. So much wool. <laughs> She goes. Billy, you missed out on all the fun. I know. What the world? I knew you could do it, Seamus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, thank you. So that's the end of that video. And if you enjoyed that video, please like it. And if you enjoy my content, please subscribe for more content. Now, would you excuse me as I need to grind some tools? I'm the kind of shear that will postpone grinding until I absolutely need to. And looks like I need some new papers too. Keep watching.